guys how are you all doing my lovelies hope you're all having a wonderful day guys so today like the other days i will be giving you a general reading and then i will be also giving you a detailed message on your person how are they feeling about you what are they thinking about you but today is going to be a little bit different in the sense i will be giving re uh, this reading this love reading for all the three sets of you for those who are in a committed relationship for those of you who are in a separation state and also for those who are like singles my single zodiacs and yes guys you can take this reading as it resonates i'm an intuitive tarot reader i'm not a traditional tarot reader and i don't go by the direct meaning of the cards and yes guys this is all i had to say and the main aim of my channel is to help everybody is to help everyone improve in their life and to give hope for those of you who are in that spiritual journey who are like with a twin flame or a soulmate journey you know people tend to lose their what to say path or people tend to like give up on their journey and my channel is just like an encouragement for those of you who are in your twin flame journey to keep going because it is going to happen so this channel is all about uh, love and it's all about spreading love happiness and definitely i think like i've made like many people happy i've made um everyone at least kind of like satisfied if not very happy so yes guys if you like this reading please make sure to like comment and subscribe to my channel now i will be starting off with a reading and for those who want personal reading uh, many of you comment um, for personal readings i don't really know how um, how i can do personal readings because i uh, opened a uh, instagram account and i asked you all to text me that and then i got like hundreds and hundreds of messages that i was not able to reply to one it was really very hectic for me so maybe like i will um, start the join button in my youtube maybe tomorrow okay maybe tomorrow i will arrange it and then you can uh, join me in my youtube channel and i will be giving you personal readings for those of you who are like the members of my channel okay so yes guys um i'm really sorry to speak too much but i think this uh, these informations are important to give up so now let us just start off with a reading my lovely scorpios and other zodiac signs cancer pisces taurus virgo capricorn and aquarius libra gemini let us start off the reading guys okay so see you all then hi guys welcome back to my channel my lovely scorpios how are you all doing scorpios hope you're all having a beautiful day so yes guys today i will be picking out one card for your love energies and one card for your general energy for the day and also guys uh, please go ahead and watch my reading for after this I, this reading will be after this okay for those of you who are in the committed relationship single scorpios and also my scorpios who are in a separation state okay so that will be after this reading you can go watch that too and the timestamps i will be giving uh in the description box below or someone might be commenting down below the timestamps so yes guys uh, now for you scorpios um i will be just giving you a general energy and if you want a more detailed energy into your situation you can obviously watch my uh detailed reading after this reading okay it'll be just after this reading so yes um and for your set if you're in a committed relationship you watch for committed relationship part you if you are in a separation state then you watch for the separation state part okay so let us just start off with the general reading scorpios general energies wow love energies this is for like your personal love energy wow okay so for your general energy scorpios with a queen of swords in reverse 
all i can see is that you're being very very creative today you know what you're doing you know which way you're going you're sure about every single thing that is probably happening in your life i mean you guys are going to not concentrate on the things that you feel are negative you're going to channel your negative energy into something positive so if you feel something is negative something is going wrong it is not happening according to your expectations you're probably going to channel that negativity into something positive okay so that is again what i can see here guys and you might be spending some time with your close friends you want to like have a nice evening with your friends maybe like talking on a conference call or maybe like spending some time having going to the ice cream parlor together or um having bubble bath together you're just going to do something really nice and connective with your friends with your close friends in the evening because you want to kind of like distract yourself from the stressful and a bad day maybe okay but yes guys today is going to be the why you are putting in your creativity you're putting in your love energy whatever it is into the things you do okay that is what i can say for your general energies and for your love energies here i can also see here that maybe you're thinking about uh, moving away from certain people you love maybe going somewhere else and you are planning a lot for your future guys scorpio is definitely a lot of plans going on in your mind that kind of they are also like thinking about uh planning things with you they're thinking about how amazing the life can be with you and they're making plans continuously okay the plans with you are just flowing in their mind they just don't know what else they're doing they're just planning too much with you and yes that is again what i can see here so this person is just planning too much with you they just like too concerned about you and i can see all of that definitely here and they're thinking about the memories that you shared together the good times that you had with this person everything is kind of like rolling in the life about you so yes guys that is all i can see here this person is just uh wanting to have more memories with you the planning to create more memories with you and yes that is all i can see here scorpios and if you want a more detailed insight into your situation about this person then keep watching go to the description box below choose your category if you are a single committed relationship or if you are in a separation state and the, uh, click on the time stamps and watch that reading okay so yes guys bye guys Um, yes if you are till here then i hope you enjoyed my reading so um, as i told before i will be giving you a detail insight into your situation into your person situation for all the three sets of you for those who are in a committed relationship for those who are in a separation state and for those of you who are singles my single zodiac so let us just uh, start off with this reading guys this is just going to be a message i mean i will be asking our questions to the spirit guides and angels i will be only working with the spirit guides and angels and the messages that i get from them i will be channeling these messages and i will be giving you all these messages directly okay so uh, i will just be using the right away deck guys because this deck is really easy for me to work with and i know that this deck is very very powerful maybe because it is like the raw form of the deck because maybe because it is very raw that is the main reason it is powerful but i really love working with this deck especially with this deck because all of my readings are accurate when i work with this deck some decks do give me um accurate readings all the decks do give me accurate readings but my readings are like up to the point when i use this deck and that is the main reason i will be using that today for you guys because obviously i just want to give the best readings so let us just start off 
for those of you who are in a committed relationship. So this is uh, first I'm going to like pick out cards for those of you who are in a committed relationship. So you can like uh, pause, I mean, you can like fast forward the reading to your set. If you are in a single situation, you don't have to probably watch this part. Okay, I will be also giving the timestamps in the description or please some of you mention it in the comments down below and I will really appreciate you for that guys. So let us just start off first for those of you who are in a committed relationship. How is this person? thinking about you do they still care for you do they love you are they having a lot of feelings for you if so how are their feelings for you let us just pick out some cards no cards is popping up for you guys okay so we have the moon card wow so this card definitely means that there's a lot you need to think about when it comes to this relationship you guys are not thinking a lot when it comes to this connection and i can also see a mysterious kind of an energy with the uh what to say guys with the scorpion here the scorpion is for mystery and i see a lot of mystery here in this connection yes both of you are loyal both of you love each other there's a lot of loyalty here because again we have dogs here or maybe call it fox but anyway it is a sign of loyalty this uh, looks like a fox and it looks like a dog to me because if you can see both has different tails but anyways you can take it however you want if that's the case maybe one person is not exactly very very true than the other person the one person can have a lot of secrets in this connection maybe hiding something from you and this person really feels sad because they're not that kind of a person who wants to hide or wants to do something bad to you who wants to like betray you and no i don't see this person is that kind of a person who wants to betray you definitely not that kind of a person who wants to let go of you and betray you okay and that is the main reason why they want to come towards you guys that is again what i can see here and this person if you are in a committed relationship with this person um they have like double nature double nature in the sense they are hiding something but they don't want to hide that anymore they want to be direct to you so mostly like this person will come towards you soon um at least openly like they will open up how they actually feel even if like it's really hard for them to understand things they are going to open up so you don't have to worry guys this person is going to open up to you they're going to like let go of all of those mysterious energy if you are like very struck by this person's mysteriousness you are just like oh my god they're so different like maybe some of you even are attracted to this person because of their mysteriousness so when they like reveal everything it is going to be kind of a little boring for you you might be like oh my god i think like this person should have kept whatever they kept as a secret but right now you may be really wanting this person to express okay so yes guys i will be taking some more cards for those of you who are in committed relationship okay so we have the wheel of fortune the queen of cups so this is all about the waiting energy the queen of cups is um, a waiting energy it represents someone waiting for their beloved person someone waiting for love to be given to them so this card is all about waiting if you can see this uh, queen is looking into her cup and she's kind of like holding it as it's very precious she's holding it as if it's very precious and cups represents water and water represents emotions okay so this person or you or i don't know if this person or you but someone is waiting on something to go as per your plans you're waiting on something and this thing can be emotional maybe you're waiting for this person to give you emotional attachment you are waiting for this person to come towards you and express their emotions to you maybe you think like this relationship has the potential but 
you're not using it properly so that can also be the feeling that you're getting guys my lovelies who are in a committed relationship and also with a feel of fortune this person is like very very dry like they're not uh, too into this connection they're not showing that they truly care they're not showing that they're truly involved yes but please like have trust on this connection guys i definitely feel this person will come towards you if you have the trust and the love to give for this person so just trust the process with a wheel of fortune i mean your destiny is in the reach of your hands like you're going to go towards it or you're like in that progress and going towards it so this card is all about you getting what you want or what you deserve and yes uh, trust me you will get what you deserve it's nothing like you will not it's nothing like you need to put in much effort no you will get what you deserve but also remember to not force things okay if you feel it is not working out it's time to move on for those of you you've been like in this type of a connection for years and years like it is toxic guys please there needs to be equal love that is given and taken from this relationship okay it needs to be equal love from both the sides if you don't feel that equal love then quit waiting you don't have to okay see for another month or two try not to like be too close do your own thing and if you feel nothing is working out then it's time to move on for those of you who've been in such connection first this person was so nice and then they changed like that maybe there is chances that this person will change but i'm not so sure about it so even you shouldn't be so sure about it okay just try your best to move on it'll really give you a lot of love at heart to be honest the first thing that you must do is love yourselves guys either than loving i mean either than spending your time effort and energy on others who don't value you it's always good to value you first okay keep yourself first and the rest comes next that is the quote for today for you guys because that is what i'm feeling here you guys are just giving in all all into this connection and you're not getting anything out of it okay and you're still praying that it should happen and yes because of you manifesting it it would happen but anyways you put in like too much effort you're putting in hundred percent effort and this person's putting in zero percent and you want this connection to work out is this far on your side please think on that okay so that is it now i will be moving on to the second set of you for those who are in um separation state For those who are in a separation state, what is coming up for you guys? What is coming up for those of you who are in a separated state? Oh my god, guys. It's so beautiful, but then it's just coming out. These. Okay, so we have the Eight of Wands, Eight of Swords two of cups and the five of cups for the majority sets of you who are in the separation state right now who are watching this video i can see that this is a twin flame or a soulmate connection that is 100 percent okay you don't have to think otherwise at all because with the two of cups that is all i can see here the two of cups definitely represents a soul connection it represents a twin flame or a soulmate connection so definitely if you are with this person this is a twin flame or a soulmate connection and that is for sure that is for sure to be honest that is what i can see here and maybe like this person they left you or something happened in your relationship because one of you was not clear what you really wanted in life guys for a twin flame soulmate connection for something higher 
a connection is higher and if you want that to manifest into your physical reality there are a lot of other things that you must think about there are a lot of other things you must uh, concentrate on to get it right okay and yes this relationship didn't work out or you both separated for a reason there is a reason for every single thing that is happening between you both okay you met for a reason you broke up for a reason and you're going to come back into union for a reason everything is happening in this relationship for a reason and you need to understand what's the reason behind your separation to kind of like have that union again i hope this is helping you really because uh, I really do my readings to help you guys and please comment down below if it's really helping you guys, okay? So just find out what is wrong with this relationship. Why is this not um, working out? Some relationships break because if it's a twin flame or soulmate connection one person is in a higher vibrational energy and the other one is not so the situation kind of goes out of balance okay one person is too mature the other is not maybe because both have different life experiences and it's really hard for that for those two per people to come together so there are so many different reasons why your relationship is not manifesting and either than like sitting in that hermit energy doing nothing make sure to find out more about yourself try to improve yourself and i don't know why i get this for most of you it's not your mistake maybe it's this person's i wouldn't like say it's someone's mistake but it's like i definitely see here that there was a lot of childhood trauma involved in this connection this person has been through a lot of childhood traumas a lot of past traumas traumatic situations which definitely to be honest definitely that is the main reason they can't um stay with you that is the main reason they are scared to kind of have an intense connection with you because they're not used to this kind of a relationship they're not used to this kind of a connection and it's really different for this person to have someone like you in their life okay it's mostly because of fear i see a lot of fear here okay i see a lot of fear this person's just concentrating on what has already happened and they're not being productive they're not concentrating on what they can do to manifest a loving relationship they're not concentrating on that they're just concentrating on the past trauma they're concentrating on the past energies and they're kind of like leaving out on the specialities of this relationship okay so yes this relationship is wholly based on fear for your person they just scared that such intense connection would have a break okay so this person mainly left you because they are very very emotional beings and when something doesn't go right or when you leave them or something like that they cannot take such um strong energy they can't take such strong vibe and that is the main reason they kind of had to break this relationship guys and maybe there are a lot of hidden reasons behind this connection okay that is what i can see here there are a lot of hidden reasons there are like eight hidden reasons behind this connection i see this card as a very mysterious card like this person standing he doesn't know how many swords are uh, around him he doesn't have any what to say no clue of where he's standing or what is happening around him that kind of an energy is what your person's in so yes you must be you must be aware of this energy and that is all i can see here for you guys for those of you who are in the separation state okay so yes um thank you all so much my lovelies now i will be moving on for those of you who are single if, if obviously if you're in a separation state and if you want to watch the single reading you can obviously watch that too so yes
Okay, for those of you who are singles, I hope your reading is not very emotional like how it was for people who are in relationship and um, separation state people. But let us just find out how emotional, how romantic your relationship is. Okay, so we have the four of swords. Nice. We have the King of Cups. Okay, so, oh my God. So there are like so many suitors waiting for you. I can see here there are already two waiting for you. But don't trust anyone, guys, because I can also see this card after this. I mean, um, on top of the deck, I just pulled out all of the three cards and then I thought I need one more card. So I kind of like... Uh, picked out this card and it was just like no I had to keep it back because this is a very negative card to be honest for me so anyways I will be explaining this card too because I don't want to hide anything from uh, you guys but yes we will come to this card later on let us just discuss with these three cards so singles what I can see here is that there are so many people waiting for you to give them love or there are so many people wanting to connect with you, wanting to have a nice relationship with you. I can see that there are so many people around you who wants that love from you, who wants that uh, support from you, okay? That sort of an energy. They want your love, they want your support and they're kind of coming towards you to uh, to take love from you because they have a lot of love to offer you, okay? And I can also see here that it's not like there are no people like wanting you. There are a lot of people who want you, but you are lying here doing nothing. Even though people want you, even though people are like... Um, waiting for you to give them love you're not doing anything on this connection you're not doing anything uh with this relationship you're just doing your own work you are minding your own business i mean you don't care about anyone who is coming towards you or something like that you just all you do is care about yourself and that is correct i would say that that is correct because like if i didn't see this card then maybe i would have told uh, you could you should try someone okay from this there are two people who are interested in you guys with the cards and i can see one is a scorpio cancer pisces and the other one is a taurus virgo capricorn okay and obviously if we if i didn't get this card if we didn't get this card then if i didn't see this card after i picked out all of these three cards i would have told try a relationship in this try dating a person who you like but no guys we got this card here so it definitely means like this person wants something from you so yes someone wants something from you maybe this person or this person so it's because they want something from you they are going to come towards you okay and when they get what they want obviously they're going to leave this connection so beware of these people who are coming to, to you okay just wait it's always good to wait either than moving ahead with something wrong or moving ahead with someone wrong so please wait for a relationship wait for a good connection wait for this person to come towards you and yes guys i swear you will have a great life but please now is the not the right time because i can see here that this person is going to act good they're going to be so nice so um what to say they're going to just talk all honey and sugar to you and it is not true maybe they might be having a lot of other girlfriends too or a lot of other guy go boyfriends too so don't trust this person because they want something from you and that is the main reason they are like coming towards you okay so that is it guys for those of you who are in that singles energy and i hope this reading really really helped you if it did help you make sure to like comment and subscribe to my channel my lovely my lovely is um, singles so bye guys